Welcome back everyone to Old World Blues in which we're playing as the new American state, formerly known as the Enclave. Last time, we struggled quite a great deal against the forces of the Legion and Santa Ana, but that has all come to pass now. It is time to finish up, and as someone said in the comments in the last video, it's time for, well, global domination, but we'll be as global as we possibly can. I've already gone to war with these guys, but I haven't pushed in at all, but now it's time to push in. All across Southeast Texas, where I used to live, and again, a part of Louisiana. Let's do a focus, shall we? A another focus. So we can wrap up this campaign. Well, let's clean up Mojave. Eh, why not? Why not? Here, this one is federal property, come to think of it. So are the suits of power armor that the Mojave chapter wears. Which is weird that it isn't just auto bypass, but hey, that's okay. And, let's see. Am I justifying on anyone else? No, I'm not. So, like I said in the last video, I did say I would throw on the fast justifications mod so this way it's just very very quick for us to just to find other people because there's no point just waiting this long to or like literally like four months at a time to go to war with somebody if you like to read about this go right ahead this happened last time too if i remember correctly stability well we can use a little bit more stability why not lafayette is ours very good unobstructed piloting naval warfare because we can ah we got houston i remember back in the old days when Red Rocket City, or Houston Rockets, actually had a focus tree. That was a while ago. Well, not too while ago at the time of this recording, regardless. Uh, let's begin just taking these guys out. And we can go to war with... Well, we should go to war with the... Desert Rangers. Because even though someone said they would rather see me integrate them, we'll save that, hopefully, for the... When I play as a more democratic or legitimate NCR. I think that'd be a better time to do that, so... Colorado line because we can. Let's see how the Legion fares against the defenses inspired by the Arc Anch Anchorage Reclamation. This isn't war, this is pest control. Well, and there goes Patrolman. Thank you, Patrolman. Thank you very much. Alright, very nice. And you guys should not get too comfortable because, well, it's time to go to war again. You, me, war never changes, but sometimes how we conduct war does change. Missile launchers because we can. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. We've got other comments to get through, such as... Yes, there are roller skate equipment pieces. Actually, I've already cleared out a lot of the plane stuff. But yes, there's, of course, different types of robots, tank equipment. We have horses as well, which is kind of unique. And to old, Well, kind of unique to Old World Blues as an actual thing to use. Uh, I actually might have gotten rid of the roller skates, just because I don't want to see extra stuff in there. My bad. But yeah, there are roller skates in the game. I forget, it's some, I think it's in some country in Texas that uses roller skates, which is kind of cool, so. So yeah, roller skates are pretty cool. So all of Texas is under us, and actually I'll send you guys down to Honduras. Um, I really don't want to do this, but eh, it's got to be done. I could probably pair drop, but after trying it off screen in yesterday's video, I'm not feeling too good about pair dropping in some locations, especially in a place that is that is as dense as Honduras, so. And just in case, let's go and make sure, ooh, I guess we do that, we want to connect to grid. Let's get some air bases around here. That'd be quite ideal. These guys, actually, they're not looking too strong. Are they out of manpower? Let's see, 21,000 manpower, 19 divisions. No, they're not out of manpower. Uh, for you guys, let's go and do the Washington Brotherhood and probably Cascadia. This kitty's looking a little weird, but that's alright. There you go. Gatling guns, lasers, whatever they call them. Cooling jackets, why not? <clears throat> ah, four more power, more divisions, good. Now, let's go ahead. We already switched to that back again. Colorado Line. The Combat Legion propaganda. Uh, let's see. The Legion claims that they nailed our men to Hoover Dam to watch the old world die, but Americans don't, didn't spend the last 500 years fighting for freedom to lose to a Roman cosplay. Free Cascadia. Yeah, that'd probably be good to do now. There's no reason Americans should suffer under Brotherhood Ghoul of Super Mutants, nor will they. Good. Uh, segregationists. Well, technically that would make sense for us. But we're doing that one instead. <clears throat> Just because I don't want to get any more ideolo ideology support and such like that, so. Uh, let's wait. And actually, our guys, I think, are fully trained. Yes, good. Third of a million manpower, not bad. Transports, more aerosol ships, please. That'd be kind of okay with me. 
Maybe we'll do some coffee to keep us nice and warm. <clears throat> Good. Good. And I have built up quite a few air bases around here too, so that's good. And we're working on a lot of silos. And silos, and by silos, I really mean... What do I mean? Hmm. How do you guys do that? Civilian power grids. <coughs> hmm. Constantly have to clear my throat. Oh well. Uh, actually, what did we just find under? It seems like it's taking a while. I'm not processing anything in the background. Oh, maybe I didn't. No wonder it's taking a while. I haven't done it yet. Huh. Ah, uh, Greater Day Glow, led by the Handsome Granite. Alright, very nice. That's free Cascadia. Let's grab some airbase raids because we can. And then, fix Broken Coast. The funny thing about pir piracy is only viable until a strong central government restores order. Let us demonstrate that. Uh, kits 2. Let's grab some more division organization at the expense of recruitable population factor. And after this one, we shall grab... Uh, yeah, why not? High pressure hydraulics. Very good. And after that, we shall grab... Some recon? Some like it hot. Diana's works have paid off. The twin mothers will harness power of Caldera. We will use the fruits of our labor to build our economy and turn our men and women to other tasks. Vulcan has nothing on Ceres. Okay, cool. Soldier caught out of uniform during one of his dreaded surprise inspections. Sergeant Dorn caught a private out of his standard issue power armor. Soldier decided maintenance, but no such request was filed. Dorn wasted no time demanding 1,000 push-ups as you happen by. Get some boys some slack. Uh, let their sergeant do his job. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, let him do his job. If you like to read about this, go right ahead. You know what? You can have a gift. We've got plenty of money here. Huh. <clears throat> Interesting. Well, maybe we should use some of these. Maybe we'll throw them on our infantry. <clears throat> uh, let's grab and have a good time. We should do relatively okay. Especially since we have some air bases down here now. Alright, if that's the case. And someone did say, or actually a few guys... A few of you guys did say, like, in earlier episodes, you should use some airships. And I almost never, ever, ever use them because they're very, very costly and they don't do a great job. Actually, I should probably upgrade these guys. But since you guys recommended it and I knew we would have enough factories in the end, I decided to go with them. So, let's see. More fighters? Yes, please. I love the fighters. Put you guys right there. And then I'll put you guys right there because you can. And let's grab 200 more guys. I want... Oh, my goodness. That's not enough gunships. Um, go up to 500, that'd be good. There you go. God dang it. And... Oh, come on. My coordination is obviously not very good right now. Suicide pills? Ah, suicide pills. Very good. Alright, New Sterling. You're next. Followed by these guys, the baggers. Or baggers. <clears throat> Boom, boom. Which is a great little tune. Oh, we could justify a preemptive strike. I guess technically we do have that. We could have done this instead of doing the fast justification war mod. But whatever. Doesn't really matter. Anything else down here? Oh, uh, yes. We have that ENC epilogue. Uh, send out some prospectors. Old military theory committee. And restore Pueblo Chemical Depot. Why not? We'll do the epilogue once we're done here, though. Let's see. We need to control a lot of stuff. So five percent of attack, motorize, consumer goods, eh. You know what, we can do that one, why not? How are we looking down here? Well, it's looking okay. New system secure package, so we don't have to deal with stuff. We got enough money, go and do that. Actually, you guys head up that way. There you go. Okay, so how are we doing? We lost 11 guys versus 7,000. That's a lot of uh, Hondurans we've gotten rid of. But uh, maybe that's the point. Maybe that's what we wanted all along. Cooling jackets, don't mind if we do, and followed by Tesla cannons. We're going to fix the broken coast. It would be good. And the Texclave. The Texas is menaced by another Brotherhood chapter, Santa Ana, mut super mutants in the Legion. Perhaps we can build local support to stand up for democracy. Until then, we can just use the lines of Texas Arms Association as a jumping off point. Well, I don't think we really need to do that, but you know what? We'll talk about it. 
Oh, let's go to Colorado. I wonder what the plan is for the devs. F from the devs. For uh, Colorado. Since there are oh, quite a few small little states here, so. Not bad, not bad. Any more divisions? Oh, yes. Quite. Quite a few more. Alright, losses. 31. We have 1,500 factories. Not enough, but you know, whatever. Honduras is almost gone. Thank you, Honduras. We wish you a, a good day. Airbase raids are nice. Let's go ahead and grab some of this, because we can. Formation flying. <clears throat> yes. Not bad, not bad. Ah, the baggers. Economic resurgence is awesome. Uh, Lucas Davis. Well, it seems like we're having less issues in this camp. This, not this campaign, but this episode. Which is good, because our enemies are mostly all dead. And let's see, New Sterling, you've lost 3,000. We've lost 20 guys. Good. 5,000? Can we get up to 6,000? Oh, maybe not. Alright, so we're going to leave these two armies over there. We're going to start thinking about the foliages as well. Good. We should be able to push in there pretty quickly. Yeah, that's not too bad then. Oh, supply. Oh, God. That supply is not very good now, is it? <clears throat> you guys are doing okay. Let's see. As you can tell, I've built up a lot of places where we should build up a lot more infrastructure. Holy oak. Good. Nice. There we go. Oh, do we have the war goal for... Oh, Cascadia and the Washington Brotherhood. Tex Clave. Let's be discrediting the Desert Rangers. Uh, if the Rangers will not join the U.S. peacefully, then we can always use propaganda to cast them as hooligans and bandits, after all. What gives them the right to conscript men and material from America's com com uh, communities? That's our job. We need more legitimacy to do the other one, too. 50%. And obviously we don't have 50%, so whatever. It's fine. Go and do that. Actually, was this one done yet? No. Oh, we need to just find these guys. Well, you guys are taking a while to get up here, aren't you? Well, I guess you're going to get replaced then. Alright, let's see. Demand our rifle territories. Sure, why not? I mean, we've already done it, so. Stimulus? Yes. Wow, we only get 2,200 caps every quarter. Is that all? Rest into military factories. Actually, I'm going to have you guys train. I want more army XP. Infinite army XP. Wow, look at that. There we go. Forager's time. Not bad. They attack us. We attack them. They want to move in our lands. Whatever. It's all new stuff. Well, all old stuff, actually. Same old story. They want to they wanna win, but we're not going to let them. Any upgrades? Braxton had quite a few issues last time. Nope. Not at all. These guys have been cut off, which is good. Get to New Montrose. Please don't get encircled yourselves. There you go. Good. Forgers, no problemo. Beautiful. We have the apartment. Good. Shoshone is next. Open the nursery. How about that? The EPA had its own plans to survive the war. The Gek might rebuild civilization, but what are the what about what are the buffalo? The wolf, the bald eagle, the mammoth, and that end? To that end, the EPA prepared a facility to revive our nation's great wildlife. The nursery is a pre-war facility, buried in the remote valley led by a pre-war AI named Diana. Though the, although the EPA thinks we could use a facility to terraform the wasteland into a paradise, Diana refuses to aid us and claims we'll squander her gifts. If we can get her cooperation, we, rebuild, we can rebuild American biospheres and restore bald eagles, buffaloes, and woolly mammoths through the American wilderness. It's every pre-war AI insane shut off the power. Lock like several Gex, okay. The enclave are building a country one at a time. Hacker system, she will serve as us no matter what. Ooh. Shut off the power? Hmm. This coffee I got is pretty good. Eh, hacker system. We must have it no matter what. 
The Mexican Reclamation Zone? Nope, we're done with that. And it doesn't really matter. Oh, implant decisions. Give militia implants? Give special forces implants? Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter where we put them at this point. I mean, we're so strong. So, and actually, most places we can't even build stuff in, so. Oh, we have to wait till another one's completed first. Wow, we got seven gex. That's a lot. Are Death Claws an endangered species? With the revival of the EPA, one of the more vocal debates is whether North America's latest apex predator, the Death Claw, is entitled to protection. Once a terrible threat, the deployment of heavy weaponry has reduced its natural habitat, and some scientists estimate that it could one day become extinct. We can preserve this proud animal, a testament to nature's fortitude through adversity. On the other hand, farmers complain that Death Claws make off with the Brahmin and the children. Well, or it symbolizes America. What are you kidding me? Shoot them all? It symbolizes America. High pressure hydraulics. Get some composite armor because we can. And, oh, now you guys show up? Come on, fellas. You can do better than that. You got those legs. You got power armor. Or should, uh, if you don't want to move, just tell your suits of armor to move for you. Support cause partisans. Abraham Lincoln once said that America was the cause of all nations. Uh, this may not be true, but our dreams of freedom certainly aligns with the goals of the resistance to the Washington Brotherhood. All right, so you guys can come over here. We can deal with Scott's Bluff. Just go ahead when you can. And you guys go over here. And you guys do that. That'd be good. Quite good. Quite, quite delicious and bueno. Ah, Tesla cannons would be nice. Maintenance companies would also be very nice as well. And we should be able to go to war extremely soon, like now. Yay! And the Shoshone next? Yes. Even though there's quite a few enemies to still take out, I'm not really too worried about it, since our power armor is just so strong. It's so strong. Profits in the drug trade, like normal. Oh, yep, can we do this? Yeah, it's fine. Actually, are these raw purchases in the same alliance? No, they're not, which is good. Northern League should not be too bad. And we'll probably have to pair drop into New Victoria, which is fine with me. We'll probably lose a few divisions, but you know what? Such is the cost of glory. Glory to the Enclave. God bless the Enclave. Very good. I could take these guys out now, but nah. Keep training our soldiers. I'm taking out everyone else first before we do that. That's about eh, a third done. Maybe two-fifths done. Anywhere else? Anything else? Repair the next turbine. That's fine. Tax breaks, no. Dockyard, no. Monthly population, let's try that one, why not? Oh, only 5,700 people a month, that's not enough. Cool. You guys will do fine. And you guys, let's go and do some more recon, because we can. Ah, Dickens. Good old Dickens. They attack us a little bit, we attack them. You know, it's a back and forth. Frank Buford, level, skill level 8. Wow. Wow. Oh, no, no, this is glitch. We can't see this one. Dang it. Support cause partisans. Cool. So we're pretty much done down here until we can do Masters of the Wastes. Um, wow, mine is just 16% just by Wargo's times. Oh, we get a claim state. With the defeat of the Legion, the NCR, and the Washington Brotherhood, it is time to remind uh, everyone that the original motto of America was join or die. Cool. Oh, I still need to do this one. Propaganda broadcast. Put your faith in Douglas Granite. Great American baseball will live again. Comfort, recreation, healthy competition will all live again. This country will be living again. Whether some people like it or not. There we go. Shoshone Nation, thank you very much for playing. We didn't take out Gorgonia, so which is fine with me. Oh, there we go. Now we can see it. Even though it looks a little old and outdated at this point. I'm just ignoring the Desert Rangers for now. There we go. Where are you guys at? Oh! Oh! I did not give you orders? I thought I gave you orders. I thought why well, it was taking so long for them to finish up. Go ahead, guys. You'll be more than fine. There we go. Thank you. Anything around here? No. Um... I don't want to take out the Timberline, but I guess these guys are next, which means the Desert Rangers are coming down first. They must be crushed. And crushed they shall be.
you know what? I'm lazy, so I'm going to put them all right there. <laughs> That's a ridiculous amount I put right there. That's alright. Transports are nice. Don't really need too many more of them. Two. Ah, uh, let's go 100. It doesn't matter. Cool. And take half and do it again. I'm a little lazy, like I said, so there you go. I have a thousand more fighters. Alright, go to warp. It's weird, you get it. You have to go to war with the. and destroy the Washington Brotherhood before you can get that minus 60% justification war goal. Seems kind of a while to take, or to do, so. Especially since you have to go through. I guess technically through the troll war, which usually wins, but of course we have Gorgonia here too, so. Oh, we're missing something here? No? Okay. Didn't want to know about it. Let's see. Instead of. Ooh, I like all this stuff. Instead of that. Oh, wait. Hold on. Do we have implants here? Do we not have implants? Tanks. Robots. Huh. There's nothing there. Let's say we removed this. I don't see any implants. We're going to do maintenance. No? Okay. That's very strange. I'll give and go to war with those guys too. That'd be nice. But yeah. Implants too. Archetype in the description. Well, maybe it's down here that we just shack them up and then they'll be forced to use them. Um, power armor? Oh, do the infantry stuff. Give implants. We'll try it. Alright, so you guys. Go and stop training. We gotta go to war anyways. So, get ready going to be pretty crazy. What's you guys? No, it's you guys. Propaganda broadcast? Very good. Mandatory patriotism. Please clap. Or else. Ah. Clap, 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 clap. How many we killed? Only 7,000 at the exchange of 60-ish. Not bad. Next up. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Four plus. Why not? Come crashing down here, that'd be great. Rot purgers. 25 days, that's so nice. Thank God for the fast justification uh, sub mod. Actually, can we core anything else? Seems weird that we can't core anything else. Our agenda? Sure, why not? Autocracy? I love autocracy. More propaganda, we're doing well. Maintenance 2. we will grab maintenance 3 because it doesn't really matter. Okay, specifically always from Hawaii, but sure, why not? The Chosen One's Trial. The Chosen One's Trial is never in doubt. Even if Grant had suspicions about the Enclave's experiments on the oil rig. And in Navarro, too many members of the Enclave blamed the Chosen One for deaths of friends and family. And propaganda blamed the Chosen One for stopping the Enclave's medical assistance to the Royals' tribals. And so the Chosen One was found guilty of supporting slavers in the den. Of killing miners in Broken Hills. Of smuggling liquor in a vault city and aiding... Cultists into San Francisco, and of course, the treason against the United States government. The only question was their fate. Firing squad? And show compassion, it, life in solitary confinement? Firing squad. Compassion. Some are compassionate, and sometimes we have to be compassionate, but this is not one of those times. Alright, so they we immediately attack them, and they don't really attack us too much. So let's all attack them. There we go. Actually, how many before we kill them off completely? They have 108 divisions. Not bad. We have 184. And actually... Oh, we actually have mixed signals, huh? Seems very odd. I thought we would have, with all these armies attacking, we would... I, I was going to assume that we would have had a lot more... Uh, you know, victory over here. A lot more ground support. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Who dares wins? Maybe we don't have enough air bases around here. Regardless. They only have taken 12,000 losses. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good. Ranger Citadel. Please capitulate. There we go. Oh, that's better. 88. Nice. Oh, the Rangers. Thank you for playing, Rangers. You've lost 25,000. If only they could have done better. Oh, well. We have our massive infantry up here. 
You guys are any waterways there? Nope. So you guys will lead a charge up this way. And you guys will lead a charge over on, on the more eastern flank. Very, very good. There we go. Nice. Well, I'm not sure why that's not working. Yeah, we're just building so much stuff up. There we go. Cool. Fine with us. Kill them off. No worries. If we have to reach a supply, that's fine with me. And you know what? We'll do the timber line as well. Get them out of the way. Then we'll kill off these guys by themselves, which would be good. Excellent. Good, good, good. Oh, kill switches. Nice. Very nice. Let's grab some medical maintenance. More liability, a little bit less output, so be it. Better recon, why not? Get even better recon. Ah, uh, give infantry implants. Katie again is done. Mandatory patriotism. All very good stuff. All right, so we got that one done. Let's do requisition of resources. We lose legitimacy, less daily compliance. Eh, you know what? We'll read it this, but we don't really need to do it. For the duration of the national emergency, the government can exercise its authority to seize national resources. We will compensate the owners with the government bonds payable sometime in 2300s. Bloomfield Space Center. Somehow, pre-war space facilities survive time in nuclear in so southwest Arizona. I'm not saying we should launch a rocket into the sky, but we're launching a rocket into the sky. I'm not saying we should, but we probably. Probably should. All right. Time for a good time with you, me. Oh, actually, the Washington Brothers tried to go to war with them too. Very nice. All right, they're not gonna do anything. Let's go in then. How many divisions do they have? Fifty-six. Not bad. Not bad. Are the infantry moving in? Maybe they just weren't there. Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, they're missing imp. Oh, we gave them. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of implants they need. Um. Now that should definitely help out. Cool. Whoa. They need a bunch of implants. Holy bad words. They need more implants than actual infantry equipment. Wow. <clears throat> that's pretty. That's pretty intense. I'd have to say. That, that's I'm like holy crap! How do they lose this many guys or you know this much equipment? You know, I was like whoa. But since it's a unique thing for the enclave, or not necessarily for the enclave, but just a unique thing, period. I'll use it. There we go. Rob Purgers, thank you. Economic precision is great news. All right, uh, there we go. Nice. And then send half you guys over another waterway. I, I don't really care. Uh, that's kind of a bigger one. Yeah, that's looking pretty scarily weak to me, but you know what? 159, 160 every day, that's not too bad. And sad news, now we're out of coffee. So yeah, one of the comments, I think I already said, we didn't do great last time because we have all the new loyal officers and we selected them based on loyalty instead of merit, which had its issues, we'll say. Hyperborea. Man, every time there's a TNO reference, whether it's intentional or not, oh my goodness. <sighs> what a fun campaign that was. Very, very fun. Cool, we should have these guys done soon, though. Cool, cool, cool. Let's pause the game real quick. At least now we only have to focus on the northwest sector of the United States. Oh, they want that area? No, 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 no. Come on, guys. Ah, <clears throat> oh, there they go. The yeah, Alashi Brotherhood, you're not going to get anything from, about, from this. Thank you. All right. 
For now, I'm going to do that. That's fine. You guys are kind of bored over here, I assume. Help them out. Spread out. Don't get in two encircled. Just five world I knew they would do that, so. How long will that take? Oh, they got roughly two months. It's not bad. Don't really care then. Walla walla. Walla walla. Alright. Next turbine. War bonds. Because we can. The Legion March. Wait. Legion Marches. Hopefully it does not. The Trolls of the War. We've broken the Troll War, but that's just left us with a group of super mutants under our rule. We'll need a solution to this problem, and how we handle super mutants will determine our options. The Troll War has given us a rise in an odd conundrum. Although, obviously, we'll execute the war criminals, the super mutant who used to live in Vault 6, Betty, has claimed that she and many other super mutants are victims of circumstance, and the treated humans under their rule no worse than neighboring tribes would have. Betty, based on her vault education, has invoked constitutional claims on her behalf and other super mutants and demands a place in the United States. And, of course, the captive population of super mutants could have economic applications. Cuba, no reason to deviate from standard procedures. Can't she wear this collar? Very cool. Actually, what else we got down here? Anything else? Ah, by Rocket's Red Glare. The liberation of the Bloomfield Space Center. We could use one of the pre-war shuttles to send someone to orbit and reactivate the Red Eagle Eye or orbital platform. Some scientists question whether a one-off propaganda event is worth doing, but this could also let us reactivate the spy satellites that Enclave placed over America before the warp. Lesson the Courier. Mr. President, several hours ago, our astronaut spaceship crashed in the Pacific Ocean off the Boneyard. Although he is fine, he said he didn't want to talk about what he found on the, on the Eagle Eye, and all records seem to have been wiped. The station itself crashed in Northern California a short while ago, but on the plus side, he did reactivate the other spy satellites. Wait, what did he find up there? Well, he's not going to tell us, obviously. Poppy? Sure, why not? Recall. Oh, so we can take him out, huh? Spec Ops, Power Armor, Vehicles. Well, how much do we have? We don't have enough, so maybe we'll put him in our Power Armor? That'd be kind of cool. Alright, Brotherhood Scientists. Even if we don't honor the Brotherhood's history, many of its soldiers will prefer to serve in the U.S. Army rather than serve in a Reconstruction Battalion. Which we'll talk about after we get this one done. Not bad, thank you. In which we get less population, more manpower, and better um, production costs for infantry, or not infantry stuff, power armor. That'd be good. And actually, you guys are in. Yeah, they're in that faction. So, here's what we're going to do. You guys come over here. Go just defend. That'd be fine. We have some waterways which we, we will have to deal with, so. Which I was planning on dealing with anyways. Actually, if that's the case. There you go. All the way up there. So those waterways are taken care of. And we got, like, a waterway around here, too, so. Is it one? Is it? Uh, I thought it was two. Good. Fine, and then you guys just kind of hang out right here. In the meantime, we got to build up infrastructure because it's going to be pretty darn bad around us. Oh, you can tell. Look how laggy it is. Just one click. Boom. Lag. 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 Not bad, though. Not. not could be worse. Could be so much worse. And, oh, that's a lot of air bases already. Nice. Ah, oh, very good. Very, very good. I want as many gunships as possible. There you go, 2400. Select half. There you go. And actually, ooh, actually, that's, that's too many. There you go, one, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. There you go, and then we'll... there you go. Now it's gonna be nice. We got overall political guide. Anything else? Menace from Washington, the Russian Brotherhood, fresh from its conquest of the Troll War, and another lust for more. For more resources, slaves, technology, and with the New California still bitterly divided, it's extending its claws towards the reunited states. Where are they even getting their powered armor? I don't care. Come on in. See what you can do. Good. The Legion marches? Oh, I hope not. More propaganda. Nothing up there. Cool. Mm. Yeah, we can probably close that one. Securing borders. Economic decisions. Great. I kind of just want to go to war immediately. Oh, man. Supply is probably really, really bad around here or something. What was going on right there? Maintenance. Cool. Implants? Less factory output, but more recovery rate? Sure, why not? 
All right, so we're looking quite a bit better. Over 220 implants are being made a day for infantry, which would be great, great, great. Plenty of other equipment. Not too worried about that at all. Ever fleet? Why not? We got other stuff too. All right, so are they gonna go to war with us soon, or are we just gonna sit here? Uh, let's just go to war. They attack us anywhere? No. Okay. Well, power and go right on ahead then. There we go. Now. Oh wow! Look at that. There we go. Here we go. Now we threw in all those extra planes. Only 61 damage, roughly 60 ish. Uh, nothing there yet. Not too much there. And now it's, now it's picking up. That's good. Never enough damage, though. I mean, just honestly, never enough damage. How many have we killed off, though, so far? Uh, only 23,000. That's all. Only 23,000? Is all you got? Brotherhood soldiers. Now oh, three guys right there. And you guys just go all the way up to Capitol Hill. Well, that Capitol Hill. Not the capital of uh, the nation yet. Emergency labor draft. When Granite builds a country, he has to be able to, to last the American way. Don't you, my darling America, deserve that? As President of the United States, you have my solemn prayer to never ever rest until I have all what we deserve. A place, a place to truly call home. Eh, we will get even less compliance with whatever we'll do anyways. It doesn't matter at this point. So they have... Well, look at the division count. Ooh. Just dropping. Or at least it was. Nine, eight, two, fifty-two now. Fifty. Is anyone else just on us? Ooh, more free dockyards. Recon five is done. Oh, they they took a top quite quite a while to justify on a lot of different places here. Let's grab some more just in case because we're gonna have getting a, quite a few more dockyards soon. No, that is garbage. Yeah, now they're down to 35 divisions. Man, we trade with Hawaii a whole bunch. Oh, look at that. Canadian pirates join the Brotherhood to the north of Washington lies a broken coast where pirates bludgeon their prey to death with Can Canada's sacred clubs and their fearsome hockey sticks. Well, they'd serve as a nuisance to the Brotherhood and tie down their flanks, but now they form a pa blood pact with the Brotherhood to seize California, which can offer far more loot and slaves in north than the Northwest. Should war with the Washington Brotherhood break out, they may try to harass the coast and spy lines. Of course, the U.S. Navy has what its teeth fighting pirates 500 years ago. Perhaps it's time to pick up old habits. Let them know we have not yet begun to fight. It's fine with me. Makes it easier for us, actually. Thank you. You guys are up there. You guys having a good time. Cascadia, we should... Yeah, Cascadia should die, but whatever. There you go. Head on in. Have a good time. And over Ram. As they should be. Disgusting mutants. Ghouls. Mutants. You know, they're all mutants to us. And we're fighting Broken Coast. Well, is that Broken Coast? There goes Port Maul. I don't see a Broken Coast around here, though. Alright, whatever. Alright, so you guys all head up. You can head up this way. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, because everything else is ours. Yeah, that's good. Oh, there we go. Power all ready grids. Cool. 3 2, two. Maybe we didn't get that much more stuff. That's fine. Oh, now we must have built all, those, all them grids up then. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, we're still moving in. I guess we can go to war these guys next, too. It's fine with us. Fine with us. Uh, best in the military academy, because you can. Anything else? Um, we still gotta do this stuff, but East Portland? Eh, uh, power... Implants for power armor. I wanna wait till we have a stockpile. Good, good, good. Oh, you guys are down here too. Whatever. At this point, I might just kind of retire the infantry. We don't need them nearly as much. Economic resurgence is good. Someone did say we should play as Vault City and play the oppressive elite path. Well, we'll see what happens. I don't mind playing Vault City again sometime. Seems kind of like a fun nation to play as always. So, we'll see. We'll definitely see. Oh, they've only lost 51,000 soldiers in total. Is that all? all right, at this point, I don't like supply issues down here, so... Kind of hanging out. Capitol Hill is falling. Great. Oh, we still have people down here, too. I forgot about you guys. My bad. Alright, that's the case. Can't forget about them great cons. Oh, this place is always hard to take out. The sleepers. Oof. There we go. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And a little bit of lag, but that's okay. Thank you very much. You guys might be able to do this by, do, by yourself. You guys might be able to do this by yourself as well. The Victoria is usually a problem, but we can just probably pair drop on them, so I'm not too worried about that. Supply-wise, make sure we got a infrastructure. That'd be good. Economic resurgence, awesome. LA, never been to LA. Sounds like a crazy place, though. Eh, I'll do the resource one, because we can, why not? Everybody read this, if you like to read it again, go right ahead. It doesn't really matter, though. Good enough, let, let them try to fight us. We get themselves on our line, doesn't really matter. Cascadia will be next, actually, maybe New Victoria. They will try to naval invade us, and this one actually could be kind of a problem since we don't have ships, and I don't really care about making ships, even though they've got quite a few. Alright, so what we're going to have to do is do this. All but one. Uh, you guys just go over there or something. There you go. Add on in, please. There you go. That should be good enough. And actually, half of you guys will just do the island itself. So, there you go. Not bad. See, we're sinking. We lost four planes. We sunk nine ships. Another ship. Great. All right. So, we're doing that. That'll be great. I'll come down here and take out the cons as well. Great news. Thank yous. Let's go whenever you can. You guys did a great, 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 great job. New Victoria time. Um, let's see. I'm going to do transports for this one. Yeah, that'll be fine. And actually, we're going to put on quite a few planes there, too. Uh, actually, cut you all down to half. You guys do that. Half of you guys actually do the ocean as well again. And transports are fine. Whatever. You guys. Actually, I'll probably send you guys over. As much as I want to kill Cascadia as fast as possible. Uh, New Victoria would be nice to get first, though. So, we might have to sacrifice... Oh, wait. Where do we put the planes? Oh, crap. You guys are over there. You guys are... Oh, you guys are down here. Right? Okay. That one. Right here. Yeah, and land right there. That'd be good. Now, obviously, this could go very well. This could go very, very poorly because they probably have a lot of soldiers in all these areas. So we might lose a division here or so. You know, we might lose the entire army, but that's a risk worth taking just because, well, things happen. And if we lose some soldiers, then we could just make some more. Good. Tread less tanks, huh? Not bad, not bad. Cut them all off. Immediately gets some of the port as well. That'd probably also help if we took out their air bases. Yeah, I love pair dropping. Love it, love it, love it. Especially with power armor. It's one of the few times I'll actually use paratroopers. Uh, let's get some supply over there just in case. And where is there any other like really good victory points? Maybe not Winter Harbor. And I think up the airbase as well. That'd be good. Keep going for all the victory points. And right there. And since that one's right next to it, we'll put it in the port. And then you guys will do Boom Marino. Uh, we already took all the, everything down here. Well, there you go. Cool. Awesome, awesome. You guys, get ready to go to war with Cascadia. That'll be good. You don't have to go to war with the Dredgers, which is fine. Don't really care. Oh, core more stuff if you can. That'll be good. Oh, the Hartford... Hanford Atomic Reactor. Before the Great War, the Hanford Reactor produced much of America's plutonium and energy. Although it's currently preoccupied by ghouls, we don't deal with them. We can restore the plant and revive the region. Obviously, now we will treat 
uh, will treat the ghouls, how we treat the ghouls will affect the outcome. Mr. President, the engineers of Hanford reactor site reported ghoul squatters who refuse to leave. The ghouls claim they've maintained the power plant since the Great War and demand compensation for repairing the facility. We could force them out, but they could damage the plant on the way out, and the re resistance to radiation may be useful. What should we do? Give us some plasma grenades. Dredging uh, Portland's Harbor, if you'd like to read about that, go right ahead. With the destruction of the Ma, we need to decide what to do with the pirates who made it home. We could scatter them throughout the waste, but some of the pirates claim they were engaging in aggressive commerce, given the lack of protection for the shipping in the region. Imprison them and scatter them? Their experience will be useful against the Broken Coast. Why not? Re reclaim Seattle. Cool. Uh, we've heard that the Washington Brotherhood worships a dark foundry, but as we dig them out of the ruins of Seattle, it appears the truth is more prosaic. A Zack supercomputer survived the war and has been devised in the Washington Brotherhood in exchanging for resources. Hard to imagine anyone would be dumb enough to follow a supercomputer, but it's picked up by a great deal of knowledge and advice about the wasteland. And the Mad A, plug it, pull the plug. A Zack's advisor, you say? And north to Alaska. <clears throat> Stars and dress forever. The men and women who missed the end of the world stumbled out of their suspended animation pods looking at the oddly short men and women who handled them blankets and a soup. They almost tasted like chicken. Don't worry, said one of the nurses. It's been a while, but on behalf of the Enclave, let me assure you that the Star Spangled Banner yet waves over the land of the free and home of the brave. You honestly didn't miss much. Cool. So, it's time to go to warp and... Ooh, more divisions. Infantry, huh? Well, we don't really, honestly need, need these infantry divisions, so... Oh, oh, actually, that, that was soldiers from what we just had, so, uh, let's see. Great Connerinos. Gotta go bye-bye. Soon. How many more days do we have to wait? Wow, that's actually two weeks. Huh. So let's let our plans do what they need to do. Bomb the living crap out of enemies. They'll probably need to invade us, diverting their soldiers away from their own islands, so this way we can go in there a little quicker, which would be a good thing. Uh, oh, there we go. See, I wanted to drag out their navy so we can just bomb the living crap out of them. Yeah, we'll lose a few planes here and there, but whatever. As long as we destroy their navy and they can't hurt our convoys, that's okay. Oh, wow. What? Wow, that's a lot of ships. 18 have been sunk. Another two. Destroy any convoys. Well, let's try it. Oh, God. I knew there were going to be a lot of soldiers there, but Jesus. Force the attacks that you're going to die there anyways. Someone's got to win, right? There, there we go. We started winning. Good. Get down there. Help them out. Help them out. Good. Help them out over there too. Help them out. Help them out. That's why only their armor's damage and the organization doesn't matter when we do force the attack. So that's good. Ah, we did it, my friends. We did it. I knew that would be easy. We didn't even lose a division. Awesome. So that, that's a little trick to know, like, when you do force the attack, actually we could probably pair drop on these guys too, but I don't feel like it. Uh, when you force the attack, you don't lose any more organization, so the organization holds its place, but the strength level just dies so fast. So quickly. Acquisition of natural resources, cool. And we'll do Starlight Express. Before the Great War, the, Star, the Coast Starlight Railway connected the cities of the West Coast. We can, it can do so again. Oh, look at all that. Even though we put up probably a bunch of infrastructure already. Alright, these guys gotta go. Not even gonna bother. So we've already killed off about a thousand. Second, second massacre of Bitter Springs? Oh yeah, you betcha. You betcha. Thank you. We killed off only a thousand. Well, until we're done with them. Alright. Auto-saving. Maybe a little bit of lag. Alright, let's go do this then. Now, normally this is a big old problem because of the choke points here. I mean, they're, the only way to access their lands is literally through a choke point. So, this might go very poorly. But if we send in two guys, it might go okay, actually. Actually, yeah. It's fine. You know what? Give me this. There we go. Great cons. Thank you. Good, good, good. Alright, so you guys got here. Send in two guys. One, you guys go right there. The actual capital. And two guys go from here. And go right there. Cut these guys off. We might just be able to capitulate them that way. Because usually this is a big old problem. But if we just hop over the border. Or hop over the wall. We'll be okay. Western Grand Canyon. Cool. And are we ready to go? Hopefully. Let's do it. 
I don't want to wait any longer. Go right on ahead. Have a good time. Good luck, guys. How many divisions? They only have 17 divisions. That's not bad. And we got to do the Dredgers next, which was fine with us. 10 days. So, uh, them. Cascadia. Hot Confederation. Sinking ships left and right. What more could we possibly want? Love? Nah. We got to claim America, baby. All right. Here we go. Actually, only some of you guys have... Oh, some of you guys didn't show up there, huh? Well, that sucks. Oh, that's the case. Send one of you guys over here, then. There we go. We landed. Grand Trap, these guys are cut off. And would you like to go, sir? Wait, why are you not going? Are you dumb dumb? You might be a big old dumb dumb. Well, in any case, just help beat him up, then. It's very odd. He doesn't want to go. This guy showed up. Cool. Yeah, see how problem how many problems they have with that unreasonable demands. One division could take them all out, but you guys refuse to do anything. Very strange. Very very strange. Good good good. Now oh, they're dead. Nice. All right. Oh, yep. Yeah, you guys head on this way. There you go. And how are we doing up here? Not too bad. Oh, wow. We just sunk a lot of ships. I didn't even see what we sunk. Doesn't matter, though. And we'll take out the Hattie Confederation, too. Ah, Seeper's good. Very odd that they didn't want to do that, but okay, whatever. We'll just probably try to pair drop on these guys, maybe. Uh, T-51C mobile power armor. Not bad, not bad. Well, let's see. One, two. I wonder if we just pair drop into their islands up here. Because that would be pretty helpful, actually. One, two. Just help take them out a little bit more quickly. One. Goes all the way up to two. These deuterinos. Uh, we'll let time go on. Doesn't really matter too much. Starlight Express. Go up there. You know, I'll finish this off screen. Well, here we are. We've just begun to. Put a lot of little uh, pair drops all over the place. But let's go ahead and do this. Harden armor, why not? Why not? And we've done all of this stuff. We've done all of this stuff up here. Let time go on, I guess, a little bit. Master of the Wasteland, I think we've already read this, but let's do this anyways, because we can. I reclaim state would be very nice. We've got to wait for guys to show up here, which is fine. We're trying to get, take Camlo. Cascade is going to take a while to capitulate, but hopefully not too long. But we also need to go to war with the Dredgers as well. Which will, let's wait just a little bit and then we'll go to war them as well as the Hyde Confederation, which would be nice. Very, 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 very nice. Uh, anything over here? No, we're all done with all that stuff. Ooh, Mars Cybernetics, we gotta wait. Civilized stuff, well, we're doing actually pretty darn well on everything. Maybe some more nuclear reactors, because we can. Kind of nice, kind of nice. You guys taking some time, that's alright. We got time to spend for now. And they're about roughly halfway to done. 48%, not bad, not bad. I love doing pair drops. Probably one of my favorite things to do now. Good, good, good. good. Uh, guys, I might recommend you hurry up and take these guys out too. That'd be kind of good, probably. Where are you guys at? Let's see you guys. Oh, no, that's not a huge army, actually. That's pretty small. The Skagway as well. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Record more stuff. Do some of this. Oh my god, the lag is so bad. It's so bad. Let's see. Uh, Fallon, Naval Air Station Fallon. Okay, that'd be good. More Gex, First People Junctions. Why not? Implants for power armor. Well, we won't do that since I just want to make sure that we have enough for everything and everybody. You know what? If you can, just go ahead. Screw it. Just go ahead. I put the, a lot up. Oh, see, I took areas out down here. I took areas out up here. All over the place. All Literally all over the place. So that'd be kind of nice. And especially some naval ports. Cascade is much, 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 much closer to capitulating now, which is good. And I've even did the dredgers a little bit as well. Which would be a good, 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 good thing. Great. Come on, just a little bit longer, we'll have them. Take more places. Guys, I'd recommend you go up there. Medical maintenance is nice. We've got to wait for that one. We can grab some of this if we really wanted to. Naval specific manufacturing. Maybe grab some scrap box. Maybe grab some of this, probably. Wow, that is some extreme lag. 
Yeah, Old World Blues has definitely gotten laggier since the addition of other uh, countries and such. But, you know, that makes sense. You guys head up here. Take them out, please. Thank you. And you guys head on over here and take these guys out, too, if you can. Thank you. Good. Let them do what they need to do. Go ahead when you can. And we're just going to keep pair dropping probably a little bit more. More, 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 more. Uh, actually, you guys do not have orders? Uh, I think they already do, so that's good. We might just pair drop under the dredgers as well. It makes it a little bit more quick. Uh, Dawson Creek. Just because their victory points are all over the north, which is super, super annoying. But then again, by the time we're done here, like we just probably let, it go, let the time go on, actually. There we go. Smithers Landing. Mechanical Monsters. Masters of the Wasteland. Um, there's really not a lot of victory points up here. Cool. And we got to start doing these guys, too. Good. Alright, let's see. So we're done with that in the south. We're done with all this stuff, too, it looks like, which is good. And so we're pretty much done with the focus tree. Yeah, we are. Look at that. We're done. Wow. We actually completed the focus tree. I was hoping we would, so... That's great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, I'll just manually control the soldiers to attack that area. That'd be fine. Three, two, go right ahead if we can. Go right on ahead. We'll take out Prince George. Take out all these small little victory points. And we'll probably do okay. Probably. There we go. From here into there. So much lag. Oof. And industry. Air. Actually, I'll we'll grab some of this. That's not bad. I can't believe we're actually finished our land auction. Wow, that's kind of wild. Go ahead and try to get to Gramshar while you try to get to Kong while our guys are just trying to invade there, too. There we go. And just in case, force the attack like earlier. That'd be good. And force the defense just in case. They attack us. Well, we're going to hold on until they we can get our soldiers into there, which would be good. And we're slowly winning against people in Kong and Gramshar, which is pretty good. Nice. Help them out. That'd be good. That'd be very, very good, actually. Oh, we might lose the division, though. Oh, we got them. Nice. Good. You guys help out right here. All right, they're gone. Too easy. With Enclave Power Armor, of course. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Very good. All of America is now under us, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Come on, guys. This is the last one we got to get, which is god-awful, but whatever. One of the Red Menace. Roll out stuff. Well, we might as well do this one. So, the fate of the ghouls. The ghouls were often treated as outsiders within California and the rest of America. Some were treasured for their pre-war skills or pitied for their deformities. Others were feared due to the possibility of going feral. And with the coming of the Enclave, their fate was grim. To protect the peoples of the wasteland, it was decided to quarantine from the human, uh, human population and to ultimately to ensure no one had to risk the threat of feral ghouls. So it goes. The fate of Doran, with America saved, Doran resigned with honor and retired to the strip, developing cocktails which used Nuka Cola as a mixer. Doran's bar, the oil rig, would become one of the hottest spots in New Vegas, although there would be several HR complaints about his reaction as software caught out of uniform. Which one of Mojave almost makes you wish for an atomic agave. Fate of Arke Ganon. Ganon's mother fled from Nabarro after the fall of the oil rig, but Ganon returned to the Enclave when Granite was elected. He was one of the many who hoped, put their hopes and dreams of a better world and ended up fleeing the New America and its secret police. Ganon would reach his end in the capital wasteland against a gas that the Enclave's tentacles had reached even there. So it goes, and American Spring or Nuclear Winter, after the great end of the Great War. Freedom of speech vanished from most of America. It would be despots crushed dissenters in the name of security, progress, or just because it could, under the Enclave. Since the ship reached new heights, Hollywood was restored, turning out the stories the government wanted Americans to hear. The American Broadcasting Department played heroic stories of the war with China, promoted American pastimes like baseball, and painted those outside the government control as terrorists, rebels, or fools. One critic shortly before her arrest lamented that America was going full speed ahead, but facing backwards the whole time. Ede played a party in the USA. Was democracy non-negotiable? House once said, if you want to see the fate of democracies, look out at the windows. But House didn't address the fact that pre-war America... God dang, I hate these stupid little events. Pre-war America was not a democracy. Granite's dream was to restore America at best, and Granite would let you would let you no one stop that dream. But Granite did not trust anyone else to restore America. Who else could? The NCR was a failed state. Hayes was a rat. House and bad man in a uh, cra crowd tank in Kaiser. Well, he'd been crucified. No, Granite would restore America to greatness. And that in elections? Well, the Great War had shown why those were such a bad idea. Separate or equal? 
The Enclave once believed that Wastelanders were mutants fit only for extermination, and even many reformers within the Enclave viewed the Wastelanders as if human, second-class citizens. More than one century saw the Wastelanders as humans but inferior stock who needed to be salvaged through genetic testing and other programs saved the American people under granite, though. The Enclave implemented statutes to ensure that the best and brightest could reproduce while limiting the rights and privileges of the genetically damaged. To save the children, Wastelanders desperately tried to claim Balt ancestry or cram for standardized testing to show that they were American citizens. A loudly trained Balt suits broke out and out of a foolish belief that this could guarantee citizenship. Tough, but how else do you save America? So it goes, my friends. Come on, guys, let's cake. Fort Nelson. I don't want to spend half an hour taking out Fort Nelson. I do not want to spend that much time wasting time with this. Come on. Come on. Move. Move, move, move. We, time is limited, and we've got to go and do stuff. Of course, grab some of this. Plus, fibers would be nice. Uh, let's go and grab some other stuff as well. Recon 5 is fine. And. Land Doctrine, of course, has been done a long time ago. Let's do some of that. Fort Nelson it is. And the dredgers are gone. Thank goodness. Yeah, I really don't like all this lag. Holy cow. This lag is not very good. But regardless, I think that's it. I think that's it. We've taken out everybody and everything. And now we have the new American state. Well then. Anything else here? We did the other, like, end of story stuff. We have 2,700 caps every quarter. I'm not seeing too much. So, hope you enjoyed this campaign if you did. Please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know your thoughts about playing other campaigns in Old World Blues, and I guess I will see you all in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great, great rest of your day.